What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here with a Bitcoin update. Um, I want to start off by saying this isn't financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This is my opinion of the market, my opinion only. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to get into the charts here. This is Bitcoin on the daily looking at this descending wedge still. I'm going to zoom in. Looks like Bitcoin might want to move up right now, but we'll see. I know it's been moving sideways for a few days and usually when it moves sideways people people tend to get more bearish because I don't know if they start to lose hope or <clears throat> or what but to me the chart still looks bullish um, not bearish and this is the this is the ascending widening or ascending broadening wedge that I've been watching and it seems to you know it seems to still look good this bottom trend line keeps holding i think we're good um, we may come back down to test it and i'll talk about that in a little bit first of all you know still watching this inverse head and shoulders i know the right shoulder looks kind of funky and people are starting to say no no but you know until we t till we test this neckline if we break through i, I believe we're gonna we're going to be seeing a lot of volume. Um, that's my opinion. But uh, I, I really could see it happening here. Um, unless, of course, we break down through this this bottom trend line and the ascending broadening wedge. But, like I said, I think we'll be all right. Sorry, I got a cough drop in my mouth. I can't quit coughing today for some reason. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I uh, I still see... You know, I still see Bitcoin is very bullish right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You know what? Before I do that, I want to go into the 4-hour RSI and look at the channel we've been watching. It seems to be staying in this channel very well. Um, sorry about that. But um, as, as you can see... You know, even though we've been moving sideways, this has been going down, and I believe that's the RSI resetting. You know, it's given us a lot more room for a, for a better move up. If you look back, be back in. I don't know why my chart's lagging pretty bad right now. Yeah, back here in would have been in July, middle of July. We we're it was up to almost ninety the RSI. You know, so we could move back up here and touch in this area. <clears throat> But yeah, you know, I guess it would be invalidated once we drop through this. But if you look over here, we dropped through just a little bit and popped back up. And that was in uh, <clears throat> about the middle of, or end of December. So yeah, I, I, I still see a, a lot of upward room here. A lot of room for upward momentum. Let's go into the daily RSI. Same thing in the daily. Um, been watching this ascending broadening wedge in the daily you can see we came in touch bottom <clears throat> touch touch bottom twice here up to the top stayed sideways for quite a while and then back up um, after we touched the bottom and that looks like what we're doing now sideways we may continue sideways all the way over and touch here or possibly do a dip you know down and, and retest this but um yeah that's that's what i'm seeing right now like i said i'm still pretty bullish i just <clears throat> i don't see us going going down far right now without a nice move up and i could be wrong you know that nobody's 100 percent with analysis but this is definitely what i'm seeing <clears throat> and as we went over this before you know, with my Elliott wave count, you know, one, one's done, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you look at this area here, this may, this could very possibly be the end of the run if we do have this move up. Because this is the top of that descending wedge on the daily, this white line here. Um... So yeah, that, that could possibly be the end, and then we have a retracement after that. But a lot of things are lining up with right in this area. And I'll show you, if I pull out my, 
my fib extension. Go to the beginning of wave one to the end of wave one and off of wave two. <clears throat> You'll see it brings us right into that 53, 53, 53, 50 area, which lines up right with this old support, which is going to be new resistance. And that, you know, that lines up very well. And then, you know, I, I figure that is a test of this top trend line. And then we're, we might make a move back down to here, somewhere in this area in the 4,400 range, it's right in this cluster. And then maybe attempt to, to break that again. And, and if we don't, then we'll probably, you know, come back down in our, we'll have some resistance around the maybe 3,800 range and then the 3,650. <clears throat> and then possibly, you know, retest the bottom. Um, yeah, I really, I just don't see a lower low. I know a lot of people do, and I just don't see it. Um, and and I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, and I don't give financial advice. Um, one thing, if you guys haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you guys uh subscribed and. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Tick the little bell if you want to get notified when I post videos or if I go live. Um, that way you don't have to search for them. They'll just pop up on your feed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about the coughing, guys. Um, I just I have a bad tickle in my throat today. I don't know what's going on. But anyways. Yeah, and, and like I've said before, if this does play out, and say this was the end and it did come down um, after that, <clears throat> I would uh, measure the retracement with the, the fib, fib retracement. If that was the area and it, it, and it didn't go back up and retest that line, this top trend line, um, you know, this lines up really well with the 0.786 at our old uh, resistance between 3,600 and uh, 3,650, where our support line, you know, that... That's another possibility. This could end up being a big macro wave one, come down for wave two. But in my opinion, I, I, I see this area up here. And if, if we break through this, we might have a really short retracement for wave two. You know, it may come way out here um, and then back up. But <clears throat> I believe if we break this, resistance line here it's pretty strong and i i do believe if we break through it's going to become a nice support also but with that being said um we could you know retrace all the way back down to the 786 or even a double bottom because it would still count as wave two because it it can trace no more than 100 percent of wave one retrace um, but anyway yeah i'm i'm still bullish guys i don't I don't know. I I just don't see the 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 drop from here. Um, I do see a possibility <clears throat> of a small drop, maybe coming down and testing this line again to you know thirty nine hundred somewhere in there. Maybe dip a little below, maybe as a bear trap, pop back up. But if we if we drop through that with conviction, then yeah, our next line of supports right around a thirty six fifty. And then we have to see from there how it's going, but I just don't see it, guys. <clears throat> Sorry. I just don't see it. I uh I see it's going up from here. I really do. I I nothing in the charts tells me any difference. I was I was showing you guys earlier today. If you look at this, my EMAs, my fifty five EMA and my two hundred EMA on the four hour are about to cross right here. If them cross, that is going to be very, very bullish in my opinion. That may give us enough momentum to pop up through through this neckline here, and then maybe come back down, retest it, and then possibly go up some more. That's that's what I see happening. And again, this is my opinion and my opinion only. All right, I think I already made this video a little too long. Please a reminder to click the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and tick the little bell get the videos as I put them out. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.